we've lined up 20 autopilot reaction videos for you. Let's kick things off with a gnarly crash. Alan says he's always had full confidence in autopilot. At least he did until this happened. He was stuck in stop and go traffic, so he'd set his follow distance to the closest setting. But then traffic cleared up and his Tesla had sped up to 55 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. This is when traffic suddenly piled up and a Honda stopped too quickly for autopilot to react in time. Alan took over at the last second, but he wasn't able to avoid a collision. Tesla drivers can set a follow distance from 1 to 7, a setting which determines how much distance you want to maintain between your Tesla and the vehicle ahead of you. Each setting corresponds to a time-based distance that represents how long it takes for the Tesla, from its current location, to reach the location of the rear bumper of the vehicle ahead of you. Alan told us he has since set his follow distance to the maximum setting of 7. The highway patrol arrived and everyone involved in the accident was unharmed. An insurance claim was filed at the scene and the initial estimate to repair Allen's Tesla was 7,000 US dollars, but the total cost ended up being 25,000 US dollars and repairs took four months to complete. Naveen was driving his Model Y on Georgia State Route 400 in Atlanta, Georgia. There was a Mustang in front of him following behind a UPS truck. All of a sudden, the roof of the trailer tore off and fell on top of the Mustang. When Naveen tried to brake, Autopilot had already applied automatic emergency braking and the brake pedal was already pushed down. The Tesla escaped the falling debris, but the Mustang received some paint scuffs and had some scratches on the glass. Naveen stopped and shared the Tesla cam footage with the owner of the Mustang to help him with his insurance claim. Juan was driving his Model 3 at 3 a.m. from San Antonio to El Paso, Texas with autopilot engaged. He admits that he fell asleep at the wheel and his girlfriend in the passenger seat was snoozing as well. At this point, the car is driving itself with both occupants asleep as they approach a construction zone that closes off the lane they're driving in. Autopilot made an evasive maneuver to avoid the cones. The Tesla also sounded an alarm so loud, Juan says he'd never felt so awake in his life. Juan says he owes Tesla for saving his and his girlfriend's lives that night. If they'd been driving any other car, they definitely would have gotten into a really bad accident. Germs was cruising home on I-285 in Atlanta, Georgia. Autopilot was engaged in his Model Y when he started running over car parts before realizing there was a car upside down in his lane. Autopilot didn't react to the car parts and didn't slow down. Germs didn't want to test Autopilot any further to see if it could recognize an upside down car with partial lights while approaching at 75 miles per hour, so he manually took over and swerved out of the lane. There were already other cars pulled over, so he kept driving since he hadn't actually witnessed the accident. Eduardo was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Puebla, Mexico. He was in the passing lane, overtaking a couple of slower moving vehicles. Autopilot was following the speed limit when an impatient SUV driver started to flash his headlights at Eduardo to get him to move over. Eduardo moved over as soon as it was safe by telling Autopilot to do so. That's when the SUV lit up more than its headlights. It was a police car. Eduardo thought it was strange that the cop hadn't turned on the emergency lights earlier if he was in such a hurry, but then he turned them off and tried to ram Eduardo. Luckily, Autopilot avoided the attack and the SUV drove off. Eduardo reached out to the police department on Twitter and asked if they wanted the video, but he never heard back. David was following a pickup truck in the passing lane when a two-trailer semi also decided to overtake traffic without first checking to see if he had room. David says that autopilot saved him by driving into the median. He put on the brakes and steered back into the left lane behind the semi. David called the shipping company and reported the trailer number and offered them the Tesla cam footage. They seemed grateful over the phone, but they never called him back. The annoying part was that the overtaking semi didn't have much speed, so he couldn't pass the slower traffic anyway and ended up hogging the left lane for miles. 
Justin was driving home from the lake around dusk when he noticed a car starting to drift into his lane. He had autopilot engaged and his Tesla automatically started to slow down. The oncoming car continued to move into his lane and autopilot took action, swerving onto the shoulder. Justin says he had both hands on the wheel ready to take over in case autopilot didn't respond, but he was impressed with the way autopilot handled the situation. This emitter had his Tesla on autopilot when a woman had a medical event in a Nissan three lanes over. This emitter had no idea her car was heading straight at him. The Tesla started beeping like crazy and moved into another lane, and that's when he saw the Nissan and thought he'd been hit. He pulled over and waited for emergency personnel to arrive. His Tesla was fine, and so was the driver of the Nissan, although she'd crossed over every lane of I-75 and crashed into the median. This could have been another story entirely if Autopilot hadn't anticipated the crash and prevented a disaster. Luis was heading home in his Tesla when traffic suddenly stopped as he passed over a bridge. The car gave him emergency warnings as it automatically applied the brakes. He heard tires screeching so he looked in his rearview mirror to see a car coming toward him fast. Quickly checking the other lane for oncoming traffic, Luis floored the juice pedal. The car's instant torque did its job and he was able to get out of the way without the other car hitting him. Even though Autopilot helped Luis break, this second evasive move wasn't something that Autopilot is currently programmed to do. However, at least it would have locked up the brakes if the Mercedes did crash into Luis to avoid rear-ending the next car as well. Scott was traveling through Yellowstone National Park and was driving 50 miles per hour thanks to a Dodge pickup riding his tail through the park. Suddenly, a deer came running out of the woods. Scott noticed the deer when it was on the shoulder and started braking. As the deer entered the left lane, Autopilot applied emergency braking, which pushed the brake pedal all the way to the floor. Scott says that it doesn't look like a fast deceleration in the video, but it was very uncomfortable. He thinks he definitely would have hit the deer if Autopilot hadn't intervened. Daniel was driving his Model Y on autopilot in Los Angeles, California when, all of a sudden, some sort of ladder appeared in the road. Autopilot didn't react and just ran right over it. It looks like the two cars ahead of him got it worse than he did. Daniel pursued and stopped the car that had dropped the ladder, all the while expecting there would be damage to his Tesla. When he got out and inspected for damage, he couldn't find any. The other two drivers who hit the ladder were nowhere to be found. Mohammed engaged Autopilot on a local road in Brooklyn, New York. He rarely uses it, but he wanted to show his parents in the back seat how Autopilot worked. A few blocks later, a cyclist came out of nowhere. Mohammed didn't see him until his Tesla sounded an alarm, and he felt the emergency braking kick in immediately. This was the first time Mohammed had his parents in his new Tesla, and he couldn't believe this happened. His dad was amazed that the Tesla did this all on its own and is convinced Mohammed would have hit the man without Autopilot's help. Patrick was driving his Model 3 in Fremont, California with Autopilot engaged when he passed a Prius driver in the lane to the right. Right after Patrick passed him, the Prius driver sped up and passed Patrick, cutting him off. Autopilot braked and kept the Tesla in the lane. The Prius driver waved his hand to say he was sorry before changing lanes again. When the Prius driver changed lanes, Autopilot pulled up right behind a Lucid test car. This is the first time we've ever seen a Lucid car on the channel. Rumor has it that they have 14 cameras for their autonomous driving. We've reached out to Lucid to ask if any of the cameras will support dash cam features, but so far they've ignored us. David was using Autopilot in his Model 3 while driving in Belgium. After passing the on-ramp and overtaking a semi, he was still in the middle lane when a white delivery truck suddenly appeared on a collision course. David doesn't know if he reacted or if it was autopilot, but the Tesla started blaring alarms and he turned the steering wheel to disengage autopilot. This next video is from the same Alan who crashed in the first clip we showed you. This happened exactly four months later and he'd just gotten his yellow Tesla back from the repair shop. 
he was happily cruising along on autopilot again, and we assume he had his follow distance set to seven. A car was merging onto the highway from the right, and Alan instantly noticed the other driver drifting over several lanes. Autopilot started to blare the alarm for Alan to take over and move into the left lane, but there was a Mercedes SUV approaching from behind in that lane. Alan didn't want to wait to see what Autopilot would do, so he took over and manually merged into the other lane. Fortunately, the Mercedes driver was paying attention and was able to slow down in time. Charles was using Autopilot during heavy rain in France when a truck moved out of his lane and into the passing lane. Charles admits he was talking to his friend and wasn't paying much attention. He knows Autopilot hit the brakes before he did because the car started beeping and the brake pedal was already down when he went to step on it. Charles isn't sure how much of what followed was him or Autopilot, but he thinks he swerved away from the truck and Autopilot kept him from hitting the barrier. David was driving his Model 3 with Autopilot engaged on the Garden State Parkway in New Jersey. An Audi SUV entered the highway from an on-ramp and crossed three lanes without checking for traffic, cutting David off. David got really upset and flashed the driver with his high beams repeatedly, as we can see in the video. He also laid on his horn, but David says that the Audi driver ignored it all. In the end, David sped around the Audi driver, got in front of him, and brake checked him. We're guessing this isn't something Autopilot would do. Murray was driving with Autopilot engaged when he noticed garbage starting to fly out of the truck to his right. Autopilot didn't react and Murray didn't have a chance to avoid it. Murray heard a very loud bang and pulled alongside the truck to get him to pull over. When he did, Murray told him that something flew out of his truck and hit his car. The other driver asked, are you sure it was from my truck? Rather than arguing about it, Murray invited him into his Tesla to show him the clip. He immediately took responsibility and committed to paying for the damage. Enrique went to get his wife some breakfast and had autopilot enabled as he always does on this highway. He confesses that he wasn't paying as much attention to the road as he should have been. Out of nowhere, he heard a warning chime and felt the Tesla swerve to avoid a truck with a trailer trying to merge over into his lane to take a late exit. Gary was driving his Model Y with autopilot engaged in Huntington Beach, California. As he got a green light and continued through the intersection, an oncoming driver suddenly turned in front of him. Autopilot and Gary both slammed on the brakes and came within a foot of T-boning the other car. No accident occurred, but Gary says he had to change his underwear after this. It sounds like a pretty scary accident happened inside the Tesla after all. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you next Sunday.